Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to upgrade my working from home setup by using a Dell Thunderbolt dock, the WD19TB. Before I continue with this tutorial, I did lose a video from my DSLR when filming this, so the beginning of this video is shot from my overhead cam only. So let's get started. So the box itself, as you can see here, is pretty nondescript, brown packaging, nothing of real interest on it, other than the model number which is WD19TB, and there's a warning written here on the top, which says for full functionality of a docking station, please make sure that the machine's BIOS is up to date. If you have any issues with the audio or connectivity, please ensure the drivers for the docking station are installed from Dell's website. Certain laptops such as the XPS 9365 require specific patches for full functionality. So the box itself looks like it's been beat up a bit, but uh, hopefully that means it's fine inside. This is a brand new one, it should be a brand new one. So let's take my trusty knife and open it up. So once inside, you have a rather large power brick. Is that the same? You have the power cord for the power brick. There's no way this is new. Look at the state of this. This was bought as new. That is a. Safety and Environment Manual, Thunderbolt Dock Quick Start Guide, and this will be the dock itself. So let's move this out of the way just now. So I reckon you get maybe about a meter of cable. We have our power button up the top. Over here is the main side for connectivity. We have that will be a barrel in. I'm not sure what the barrel jack there is for. That's display port, HDMI, USB C two USB 3 ports, Ethernet, and that'll be a barrel power adapter. We have a Thunderbolt through port there. So that'll be the cable we'll actually connect to the laptop to power the laptop. Over here, we have another USB-C, a headphone microphone jack, and another USB-3. So let's get it unpacked and we shall have a look. So it's a rather large barrel adapter that we have here and a three pin plug as you can see here but there's a decent amount of cable the power brick's not that enormous I mean I've seen bigger this can support up to 180 watt laptops I believe I'll plug the cable in. It's quite simple, there's only one way it can go in. And I shall put that on the side to physically plug in. Okay. 
this cable as I expected would plug in here. So let's just set that down just now. In fact, this cable here will be the one that we connect to the laptop, not the port on the side, so the port on the side must be throughput power. And let's get this set up to start. I have a HDMI cable here, which I'm going to plug into our HDMI port. And then into our monitor. Turn the monitor on. And here I have a Dell XPS. Take our power cable. Plug it into, oh, there's a little bit of plastic on there, I should be, definitely take that off, just in case. And plug it into our laptop. Now I should be able to press the button here on the top of the laptop and it should turn on. Let's tilt this back just now. There we a desktop screen, fingerprint reader. But you can see right away that the second monitor has actually came up. And you can see that I have both monitors now connected. So let's try something, connecting something a bit different to it. An old keyboard that's been set in storage. Just connect it to one of the USB ports. Right away the lights come on. The keyboard really needs cleaned. And we'll open something. Open notepad and then test on this. And that's working perfectly. Well, this seems pretty edit proof. I didn't have to set in no, nope, I just basically had to plug in. So why don't I plug it into a couple of 4K monitors and see if we can do something special with it? We're back in a moment. Okay, so there's a just sneak into frame here. This monitor here and this monitor here are now connected. One's connected via USB C and one's connected via display port. And obviously the internal screen's on as well, although you can't really see that for the glare. But if I move my mouse, you can see one, two, and three, and I just move it off the side. If I right click and bring up display properties, you can see that I have three monitors with one of them being duplicated. So I don't really want one of them duplicated, so I go down to scaling. And I extend desktops one and two. I'm going to keep the changes. Back up here, fix the monitors. And now, if I go identify, we have monitor one, that's monitor two, and monitor three. So that was actually really simple. All I had to do was connect the cables, I didn't have to do anything else. And that's two 4K monitors and one 1080p monitor that's been driven by a new Dell Dock. So, I mean, it, it makes it a date proof. It really, really is quite good. And for those of you who are looking for, well, it's a bit of a stretch, a single cable where you can just come back, put your laptop down, connect it to the dock and have your mouse and your keyboard and everything else you need connected to this. It'll work perfectly. Here's a little bit of an addendum. This is my company laptop and it's obviously not a Dell. And the Dell charger that comes with 
my XPS 13 does not work with this laptop. Let's see if the dock does. So let's just take this and plug it in. If I can find the correct hole. Oh, that's interesting. The light just came on. And it's now plugged in and charging. So this obviously works with other machines as well. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback on this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.